interested in boozy fragrances by Dua. I said, say less. I got you covered. Hello and welcome to my page. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nairi and I hope that you stay. I hope you subscribe. I hope you join the family. On here, we talk about various fragrances in my collection. Any recommendation that y'all may drop down below. One of the recommendations we talk uh, was requested is that I go back to talking about my Dua fragrances and they were interested in boozy fragrances by Dua. I said, say less. I got you covered. So for all of my returning subscribers, I greatly appreciate you all coming back. I hope you would join in too and stay on board as we talk about boozy fragrances by Dua. If that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get into it. I have a total of eight boozy fragrances from Dua. I have four that are inspired by, and then I have four originals. Right, so that's how we're gonna break this up. Uh, so because I have eight and I don't want this video to be super long, I'm gonna tell you about it, tell you my quick thoughts of it and list the notes. All right, so let's jump into it. The first one we're gonna talk about is Liquid Mind Control. Liquid Mind Control is there inspired by for uh, Barita, right? Gorgeous. One of the first, oh my God, one of the first ones I got from Dua, right? So this is really what got me into the into the swing of Dua. Great. If you are looking for a close copy, you want to know what that fragrance sounds like, uh, smells like, I say go get liquid mind control. All right. My next one is going to be uh, angelic, um, angelic elixir, angelic elixir, and this is their take on Killian's angel share. <laughs> if you like uh, Killian angel share, I say go get this one because this is the fragrance that I often, uh, I didn't even have to spray that first one because I wear it so much, I know it. This one here, I haven't reached for it, so let me, yes, let me go back and, and get a good idea. This one here is sexy honey. Oh, it's the vibe of angel share and it's like like dripped honey right it's absolutely gorgeous oh my god it's absolutely gorgeous so angelic elixir right is their take on killian's angel share all right the next one that i have that is Actually, it's also by killian it's um is their take on another one from a killian this is nirvana and I don't, I don't know if you can see it past that light, but it's Nirvana. This is their take on Killian's Straight to Heaven. But the reason why I like this one, and I do remember this one very well, is Straight to Heaven to me opens up like that dirty patchouli, right? It's like a dirty patchouli first when you first spray it. With this one here, you get that note, but it's short-lived. And it goes right into what makes Straight to Heaven by Killian so sexy, so good. It is that dried fruit. Yes, <laughs> that that is exactly what this one shoots into. And I liked it for that reason. I haven't put the Straight to Heaven from Killian in my collection yet. I do have a lot of fragrances from Killian already, but I haven't added this one. And it's that dirty patchouli. It's that opening, that dirty patchouli opening that I just can't grab. I can't connect with. But Nirvana, Nirvana is, is short-lived. Like it shoots right past it. You have it, you smell it, and then it's gone, right? And it goes right into that sexy, clean, delicious dried fruit. It's like dried apricot or dried berries. Great. Nirvana. If you, if you like Straight to Heaven for Killian. And these here, at the size that they are, you, you can really just throw them in your bag if you travel, throw them in your bag if you're going somewhere. My last inspired by one is one that I'm going to end up making um, a part of my collection. 
I have to because I, I really enjoyed this one. This is one of the ones that I think I've sprayed so many times. And the fragrance I'm talking about is their Puma. Uh, I want to say it's Tempia, right? But it's their take on Apple Brandy by Killian. God, dog. I got to get this one. I got to get this one. I don't know what I'm waiting on. I really enjoy this. <laughs> I really enjoy it. This is like, if you've ever smelled, basically, Apple um, Crown Royal. If you've ever had Apple Crown Royal, that's this. That's exactly what this is. I know that there's an Apple Hennessy or whatever, but no. I'm, I, I want your mind to go to Apple Crown Royal. Because that's what this is. Oh, and that's is is that booziness is is there. It's so it's so good. I gotta get the original. I I wear this one a lot too. I gotta get the original. So this is their uh take on apple brandy by Killian. Okay, so let's get into the original by Dua. Their boozy fragrances that I have that are their originals. The very first one is one that I just cannot get enough of. I love this one. It is Plum Brandy. Plum Brandy. Oh, it's so good. It's like a, a dry, juicy. It's not even dry. Really, it's a juicy plum. It's like, a, like you bit into a plum and the juice is like dripping down. It's in brandy. If if you it's good. <laughs> if you don't get any other one from Dua, please get plum brandy. You will not be disappointed. This one is really good. And when they went into the boozy series, uh, because there's a few more uh boozy fragrances that I'm gonna tell you about at the end of the video that I still want to get from them. But I love, love plum brandy by them. Okay, my next one by them is going to be Passion Fruit Brandy. So as you see, I fell down the rabbit hole to, to, to most of the brandy ones. This one here, out of all of the brandies, I would say it's, it's light. If you can be light and be boozy. But it's light. Yeah, this one was light to me. And uh, often I use the Passion Fruit one as a layering. It's a layering one. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I like that bombastic fragrance, right? So I'm going to wear a boozy fragrance because normally I wear it in the cool weather. I want it to slap. I want it to be amazing. And this one here is subtle. So if you're looking for a subtle boozy, then get Passion Fruit Brandy by Dua. All right, another one by them is for all of us who love gourmand. And they did a gourmand one right and the gourmand one to me was uh it was good it was good it it gave me the that stickiness yet booziness that i was looking for and the fragrance i'm talking about is caramel brandy caramel brandy is it's caramel it's it's a true caramel candy right caramel candy type of caramel not a um yeah, it's like caramel candy. That's the only thing I can really think of. So, so think of that caramel candy, and then like you, you have you, you just ate some caramel candy, and you have a, a brandy on the rocks in front of you. That is what caramel brandy is. Absolutely, absolute, absolute gourmand lovers. This is it. Go get it. And my last one that I have that's an original from them. Uh, was where I wanted to take a chance, and I am so happy that I did. I wanted to jump into this note, right? So the note that I wanted to jump into was blueberry, and I'm still trying to build my blueberry collection, but this is the first blueberry uh, fragrance I have. I can't say that I have any other ones in my collection as of yet, uh, original, behind me, or do it. But I, I like the blueberry. But it's like the blueberry pie, blueberry muffin type of blueberry. So that's the note. And then top that with 
So it's blueberry brandy. So top that with, with that brandy note on the backdrop. It's good. So I'm, I'm, I took a chance because I wanted to, it was a deal that they were doing. I think you buy three or something and you got 30% off. It was, it, it, you know, on a Saturday they do it where if you buy one is 15 so forth, so on. Right. So I bought three because I wanted to get 30, 35 or 30% off. And this was my take a chance one. And it's blueberry brandy. And I wasn't disappointed. This one, is, it, it was good. It was really good. Just going back and I thank the person and I have to find who asked me to do Boozy by do I appreciate you because I need to really get back into these fragrances because I cannot wait to the fall because I'm wearing these. And great. So blueberry brandy by Dua. All right, so I went over my boozy fragrances by Dua. This was a recommendation from one of the people watching my videos, and they asked for me to go back to doing Dua, and they were more interested in the boozy ones that I had in my collection from Dua. So I talked about the ones that I have. I even had four, four that was inspired by, and I also gave you four that are original. But let me tell you, there is an apricot brandy that I want. I don't know why I didn't get it when I was getting the rest of them, but I want it. I'm going to get that one. If you are into fruits, there's also a blackberry brandy. So say brandy is not the one that you want to go with and you want to get more into their cognacs. And I'm, I'm uh, opening them up now so I can figure out all the cognac ones. I want to make sure I tell you about it. There is honey cognac, which smells uh, very, very close to Amen Havana. I know that one is so hard to find. And if you find it sometime, it'll be, it'll be a fake. Honey Cognac. Very close. There is a Choco Cognac. So for all the Choco lovers, there's a chocolate Cognac, chocolate, a chocolate boozy one. There is one that say you're not into chocolate. You're not into fruit, right? You want to get more into the sexiness of a boozy. There's wood in cognac. So of course, and then it's the distinguished cognac. So all of these, uh, I know for sure that I'm gonna post a picture of them as uh, as they come up so that you know what the bottle look like. I hope that I did give you some ideas. Uh, the person that recommended this and wanted us to do it. And I hope that you go out to do it. My recommendation is go to do it on Saturday, wherever 2 p.m. is your time. That is where you find the 30% off coupon. And if you're going to get them, you might as well get them for $45 instead of spending $70 and $60. That is my recommendation. I love doing this with you all. Please keep the requests coming. Tell me about it in the comments. I'm writing them down. I promise you I am not ignoring them. I'm writing them down. I have four requests and I'm trying to figure out how to fit those requests in. This was the first one that was subscriber requested. And I thank you for it. So I'm going to bid you a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, a wonderful afternoon. Whenever you got a chance to watch this, my only request is that you share it so more people can join our community. Thank you so much for staying here and, and, and reaching out to me. I value it. And I will see you in the next video.